What's good, gun family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'll be reviewing the four center inside the waistband holster. Let's check it out. So before we get into this review gun family, I appreciate it if you're not subscribed to the channel to go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified whenever I uh, upload any videos, therefore to help me beat the algorithm and like this video, comment and share it if you don't mind sharing it. But let's jump into this review. Now you can buy this holster on Amazon.com and the ticket on it is 16 bucks. Oh Lord! Now, along with the holster, they give you a gift, and this gift is a uh, mag pouch holder. Now, to me, it doesn't make or break uh, you getting this holster. It's just something that they threw in. Does it work? Yes. Is it the greatest? No, but it's okay. You know what I mean? I guess it's the thought that counts. But they did throw in this mag pouch holder if you want to uh, actually use one of these. So, that's up to your description. But let's get into the holster. All right, so this holster is a Kydex style holster. It is hard plastic material. And this holster is made for a few different guns. You can use it for the Glock 19, Glock 17, Glock 26, Glock 32, Glock 44, and the Glock 45. I remembered all of those, yeah. But yeah, you can use this for all of those uh, guns. And it has a adjustable cant, which you see it's right here, which there is, uh, you would just adjust these screws in here and adjust your cant to your uh, desired position. And you can adjust the retention if you want uh, to loosen the retention or if you want it to, uh, you know, tighten it to make it um, a little bit tighter to pull your firearm out or, you know, so if somebody else couldn't pull your firearm out, you would use uh, these two screws. Um, this is a pretty standard holster. It's a Kydex holster. Um, it's like that hard type of shell plastic material. And uh, one thing that I did like about it is it kind of has like the, uh, you know, lacerations where, you know, in your gun, you see like in, the, in your gun, you get them lacerations like that. And it kind of has those built into it. So it's, it's a nice looking design on a sweat guard. The rise kind of high and it looks pretty neat. So that's one thing that I, I do give them. I do like that. You have a uh, four center um, branding on your clip. And, um, you know, it, it's a pretty decent holster. So let me show you what these guns look like in it. Now, I did bring out my Glock 45. I brought out my Glock 44 and I brought out my Glock 17. So it's going to give you a couple different looks uh, as far as these holsters are and these guns uh, as far as they go together. <clears throat> First, we're going to do my uh, Glock uh, 44 and I'll, uh, clear it. So see, nothing in there. Shot in a safe direction. That's it. So uh, try it in there. You hear that audible click? It's in there. Glock 44 is really light. So it's uh the gun is stuck it's sticking in the holster like it's supposed to it's that tight retention and you see uh where the uh front of your gun sticks out it doesn't protrude uh further than the uh end of your um your uh kydex holster the sweat guard you see it rise all the way up the holster giving you full protection from that slab being on your bare skin or you know your clothes or whatever like that so you are good with that so with the Glock 44, I say that this is a really good fit. Um, it even has <clears throat> a uh, high uh, top right here, so top of the holster. So if you had different sights on here, you'd be able to uh, rock it with uh, different sights. Now, can you rock an optic on here? No. Can you rock a, uh, a light on here? No. But if you wanted to rock your, your uh, Glock plain Jane, and uh, you know, do you be able to do it with that? So you get the audible click. You know, so I like that audible click and the Glock 44 with this holster is a go. So let's try out the Glock 45. So we got the Glock 45. Safe direction, we're good to go. 
and try the Glock 45 in the holster. You get that audible click as well. You get that retention in there. You see, I'm, I'm not holding the actual gun. I'm just holding the top of the holster. And uh, the gun fits in there. You see the uh, top of your uh, your gun doesn't come out side of the, uh, the front of the holster. You see that the uh, sweat guard rides all the way up the length of your slide. So again, you don't have to worry about your slide or anything brushing up against your bare skin or whatnot. <clears throat> And you get that audible click in there as well. So with the Glock 45, G45, not the 45 caliber, the G45, um, I, I would say that this holster is a good fit as well. And last but not least, let's check out the Glock 17. So clear, good to go. <clears throat> and we uh, insert the Glock 17 and you get the audible click but there's something different in this one that you didn't get in the other two and you see that the glock 17 which is a little bit longer in the slide is hanging out the front of your holster so <clears throat> if you uh, plan on using this with a glock 17 you might want to think about that because uh, i mean if this don't bother you then you're good to go but the front of your slide and your barrel and your sight and everything will hang out of the holster so that could be a problem if you don't like that type of stuff you see the sweat guard rides the length of the slide so you don't have to worry about that I tried even before to uh, you know try to not push it the, f the furthest way but you don't get the click so in your holster your guns not secure in the holster so you will have to deal with that a uh, little bit uh, it's about a quarter inch probably hanging out of your uh, your uh, holster but your uh, trigger guard is protected I forgot to mention that on the other two but the trigger guard is protected and um, I mean they look good like I said this is not an ideal look for me I don't like this hanging out like that but with the uh, Glock 45 you know sweat guard is good the trigger guard is good it looks good it's not hanging out or anything this is a pretty standard uh, kydex style holster so I'm a big fan of kydex I like these style holsters I just like them because they they just bend just a little bit but not too much so I really like the kydex holsters so let's try out this mag holster real quick and uh, it's a simple holster you just press it down press the mag down in there and it expands so your holster is like that the mag pouch is like that originally and if you just you know push it down a little bit it expanded to get fatter and it will actually uh expand to the width of your uh magazine so that's good like i said it's not the greatest mag holster it's just a gift that comes along with it uh you know kudos for throwing in a gift but if you like stuff like this then it comes with the holster so Wrapping up my review gun family, um, I would say that for the price, under 20 bucks, uh, strong Kydex, nice looking design, uh, good looking, fits these Glocks nice. I don't have any other Glocks, I just got these three. Um, and I, I think that it's a good fit for the, um, for the uh, 44 and the 45. If you had a Glock 26, it would fit. If you had a 32, it might be a little longer, I believe. If you had the 19, I believe the 19 would fit. I believe the 19 and the, the 44 and the 45, I think, are like almost identical. So you wouldn't have that that sticking out on this side. But um, it's a good looking holster. I like the, the designs in it. This is probably a really good point on me. Um, I, I refuse to buy any holster. I can't adjust the can. I refuse to buy any holster. I can't adjust the retention, and you can do both of those on here. Uh, you can have suppressor height sights if you have those, or different style sights on here because the uh, top of the slide, the top of the uh, holster rides up just a little bit to allow you to use different sights and uh, stuff like that. Like I said, if you're going to use um, a, a weapon light, or uh, uh, RMR or something like that, red dot, it's not going to be compatible with this holster, so you might want to consider that. But this is a good steal at under 20 bucks. I would definitely say go get one of these. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. If this video helped you in any way or you just enjoy my content, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. 
If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the AR-15 in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, all that information is in the description. And as always, Gun Family, stay blessed, stay strapped. Let the two, two, three, we don't let one of these, black TRP, you don't want one of these.